What's going on guys? Lewis from setupvolleyball.com and today I want to go over setting in volleyball. So you've got two options when it comes to setting. You've got the bump set which is very similar to passing a volleyball. So if you look back on my channel you'll see a video about passing a volleyball. I suggest you watch that and it will give you the fundamentals of how to pass a volleyball which ultimately you can transition into bump setting. Um, the thing that I want to go over today is actually overhand setting. So overhand setting is probably the most complicated skill uh, and the most difficult to master but it is a very much a high risk, high reward kind of skill um, because it just allows you to have a lot more control over where the ball goes. So the first type of settings of is obviously what you do with your hands. So the way that I like to explain this is if you create a triangle in front of your face and then you bring that triangle apart slightly, sort of about one to two inches, and then you want to spread your fingers and create almost like a ball shape with your hands uh, or almost like a dish so if you ever heard the term deep dish that's where that comes from so you create a nice deep dish position by doing that and having your fingers spread it gives you a nice surface area around the ball lots of contact points so when you're setting that ball you can really have a nice grip for it and you can make it go exactly where you want it to go so once you've got your hands sorted so what I would recommend is just quickly practice that so create the triangle in front of your face Bring it out a couple of inches, spread the fingers, drop your hands into that nice dish shape or ball shape. So from there you want to move on to your wrists. So with your wrists, the, the setting actually comes a lot from your wrists, so it's not just a case of here's your hands and extending your arm, it comes a lot from the flick of your wrist. So when I say flick the wrist, I don't mean like really extend it, you're not, you're not trying to break your own wrists off, but have that gentle flick at the end. So the way that I like to teach is almost like opening a pair of French doors. So if you can picture like patio doors like this, as you finish your set, you open the doors. So when you're setting here, it's just open the doors, opening the doors. It's not flicking your wrist to break them off. So you've got your hands like this, separate, make that dish, open the doors. Uh, the last key to setting, uh, probably one of the most important ones, is extending your arms as well as your whole body but I'll start with the arms so your wrist isn't just flicking you sorry your set isn't just flicking your wrist and your fingers it's a lot from extending your arms so it's not just here it's here so I'm not gonna set the ball aside to not go chase after it again but it's not just flicking the wrists and the fingers it's here So, once, so now you've got all three parts again, hands in, spread them out slightly, spread the fingers, drop the wrists back, and then as you set, you push through with your wrists, hands and arms at the same time. So it's all nice and smooth motion. If you get that right, you should re uh, reduce your double touches a lot, because as you flick away your wrists and you don't see any spin on the ball, you just it's, it's just confirmation for yourself. It's a good way to teach yourself if you're double touching the ball or not because if that ball leaves your hands at the same time like this you know you're not double touching the ball because it'll be nice and clean when it leaves your hands so the other thing to consider when setting is that you actually much like passing is a full extension of your body as well as your arms so you want to have a nice staggered step and generally what you would want to say especially in like beach volleyball where you might set from either side if you're coming in from the right hand side you want to put your right leg in line here with the net so this is your anchor point so this stops you falling over stops you being off balance because if i'm trying to set this direction and i have my left leg forward i've then got to twist my body i'm out of line i'm not balanced at all and it's really easy for me to overset the ball where my shoulders are going rather than like this i can turn my shoulders and be nice and balanced off this right leg here so in beach volleyball especially if you're setting to the uh, from the right side right leg is your anchor point if you're setting from the left side your left leg is your anchor point so if I'm moving into set right leg anchors nice bend in the knees keep your core nice and tight and then your hands will be up here and then it's a full extension of your body I'm not just loading here and flicking my wrists at it I'm not just extending my arms I'm extending my full body so I'm coming in set the ball whole body um, in terms of where to take the ball when you're setting, because I realised I didn't really go over that very much. If the ball is coming from the height 
obviously from above you. What you want to do is find that ball so that if you were to miss it with your hands, it would hit you on the forehead. So in the beginning stages, if that ball does come down and it goes through your arms and hits you on the forehead, don't worry about it. It might be embarrassing to start with, but I promise you, you're on the right tracks. So just wash it off, get ready for the next ball. So if that ball's coming down, if it hits you on the forehead, you're in the right spot. So what you want to try and imagine is every time you're trying to get to that ball, you want to be able to head of the ball if you were to miss it, essentially. So if you're here and the ball is going to hit you on the head, you're in a good spot. Uh, actually, when I was learning to set, I remember I got into a habit of, I was always in the right spot, but I kept bringing that ball too low. So every time I was here, but I was bringing the ball down with me every time, to the point that it was almost hitting me on the forehead. And I remember my coach gave me a medicine ball and said, do it with this medicine ball and it will stop you doing it. And what did I do on the third time of doing it? Pulled it down too far, bonked myself straight on the nose. I promise you, I never brought that ball down very low again. So just remember when you're bringing the ball down, it's not bringing it all the way down here. You're just taking that ball and letting it go again. So if we just do a little recap, hands in, make that triangle shape. Spread them out, spread the fingers and bring the wrists back so your thumbs are back and your little fingers are forward. So from the side, like this. Slight bend in your arms, slight bend in your legs. Keep your core nice and strong. Don't let yourself hunch over or lean back. And then as you, the ball comes in, push away with your whole body. So I'll move back so you can try and see the whole set. So you can see I'm not just flailing my arms at it, I'm not just flicking my wrists. I'm running in and I'm extending my body. I'm bouncing into that ball. So I'll put some other examples in like I did with the passing video. So I'll get some for both indoor and beach volleyball just so you guys can sort of see the difference. Because obviously in indoor you're always approaching from the right side or nearly always approaching from the right side. Um, and generally you're already stood in the spot. Whereas with beach volleyball, because you don't know who's going to receive that ball first unless you have a blocker then it, you could be setting from either direction. So I'll put both in there so you can see the difference. If you enjoyed the content and you like the video, please do consider giving it a thumbs up as it really helps. And if you would consider subscribing, we drop lots of content exactly like this. I've been Lewis from SouthVolleyball.com and I shall see you later. I feel on top of the world, I feel on top of the world right now. I feel on top of the world, I feel on top of the world right now.